Welcome to the first lesson of the measurement unit. Lesson one is called measure, measuring length. Now, in order to measure length, you can use millimeters, centimeters, and meters. And in, in addition to length, you can measure the width, height, or thickness of objects as well, which you could t technically all combine into length for the purposes of this lesson. Uh, generally, millimeters, written as uh, lowercase m, lowercase m, are used to measure small objects, like the length of a small buck. Uh, centimeters, written as lowercase c, lowercase m, are used to measure medium-sized objects. So that might be the uh, size of a TV remote. And meters, written as lowercase m, are used to measure large objects, like the length of your bedroom wall, for example. <clears throat> now, we've done the conversions before in our decimals unit, but we're going to be practicing um, converting measurements again, and we will also be thinking about what we what which one of these millimeters centimeters or meters would we use to measure various objects so remember that um, in order to uh, convert we need to know what each of the uh, measurements are compared to each other so uh, one meter if we look down here is equal to 100 centimeters. So there are 100 centimeters in one meter. And in one meter, there are 1,000 millimeters. And that is because there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter, um, which we can see at the very bottom here. 10 millimeters is equal to one centimeter. And that is equal to zero. Well, you would say this as one one hundredth of a millimeter, or of a meter, sorry. Ten millimeters is equal to one one hundredth of a, mi a millimeter, of a meter. <laughs> I can't say it. One one hundredth of a meter. There we go. Uh, and then in the middle, sorry to jump around, but um, we've got, we'll start on the right side again. Ten, a hundred millimeters is equal to ten centimeters. And that is equal to one-tenth of a meter. Okay, so you're going to be writing just simple decimals in this, in this uh, lesson. And up here we've got the cheat sheet. So if you don't have these down, um, then keep this cheat sheet in front of you. But generally, uh, just remember that, that uh, Meters are the biggest one, centimeters are the middle one, and millimeters are the smallest one. So if you're converting um, meters to millimeters and you end up with a decimal, then you're probably wrong. Okay, so use logic when you're thinking about this. But, um, so since there are 100 centimeters in a meter, then you are going to times by 100 if you're going from meters to centimeters or divide by 100 if you're going from centimeters to meters. Um, and then over here, if you're going from centimeters to millimeters, you're timesing by 10 because there are 10 centimeters or 10 millimeters in a centimeter. And then you're dividing when you're going up. So anytime you are going from a, a smaller measurement to a larger measurement, you're dividing. And anytime you're going from a larger measurement to a smaller measurement, you're timesing. Okay, think about it, because when you times, the number gets bigger. And so uh, when you're going down measurements, the number is going to get bigger, because it's going to be more of that measurement. Okay, um, now that's one thing that you need to know. Now the second is what a referent is. And a referent is used to estimate a measure. So it is the process of comparing objects to the size of various measurements. And here are some examples. Uh, please use your own if you are asked to find reference in the assignment. Uh, so for example, one millimeter, a referent for that is the width of a dime. So that means that a width of a dime is about one millimeter. 
uh, a referent for one centimeter is the width of my little finger. And a referent for one meter is the width of the classroom door. So these things are about the size of these things. Okay, so here is an example. We're going to do these ones together. Practice you do on your own. So please grab a pencil and follow along with me. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to um, convert 75 centimeters into millimeters. So uh, this is the larger measurement, and we're going to a smaller one. So remember, that means that we're multiplying. And centimeters are bigger than millimeters. Millimeter, there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So we're going to multiply by 10. So 75 times 10 will be just putting a zero on the end. That's all this is, is either putting a zero on the end, taking it off, or moving a decimal to the other end of your numbers. Okay. Uh, next one, we're going from millimeters to meters. Now, if you didn't know, you could look at this chart. So millimeters to meters. Um, and the arrow is going this way, so we're following the red. And so we can we can times by 100 and then times by 10, or we could just times by 1,000 because there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. And I'm going to do it th that way. So, uh, oh, sorry, we weren't going that way. We are going the dividing way. So we need to divide by um, 1,000. Okay, so dividing by 1,000 means that we're moving the decimal three places. So when I have 6,000 and you can't see the decimal, that means it's right here. So <clears throat> I need to move the decimal the number of zeros I have in my divisor. So I've got one, two, three. So that means I go one, two, three, and it ends up just before the six. I don't need to write any of these zeros after the decimal because they are not important. So that means that this six is all by itself. Now, not to say that the zeros aren't important, but they are assumed. When it's all zeros after, then we just assume uh, that this six has all zeros after. Okay, and the last one, we've got seven meters it equals to centimeters. So this is bigger to smaller. So we're multiplying. And how many centimeters are in a meter? If you didn't know, you could check back. There's centimeters to meters. We've got 100, 100. So timesing by 100 this time on here. So seven and then a zero and a zero. So seven meters is equal to 700 centimeters. 6,000 millimeters is equal to six, milli six meters. And 75 centimeters is equal to 750 millimeters. <laughs> now you try the same thing. You're going to go from mil from meters to centimeters, so big to small, then millimeters to meter, small to big, and then centimeters to meters, big to small. So pause the video, try it out, and then follow along with me once you're finished to see if you got the right answers. Okay, so this is what you should have got. Um, meters is larger than centimeters, so we're multiplying. And I know there are 100 centimeters in a meter, so timesing by 100. So 900. Uh, meter, millimeters to meters, we need to divide. And there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter, as we learned before up here. Uh, this one might look a little different than the answer up there, because here is my decimal right there. And I have to move it one, two, three times. So one, two, three times, and a zero goes in between. I'm guessing you got that one wrong. So you always put a zero in front of the decimal to show there's no whole numbers. And then a zero and a five. So this what you would say is five one hundredths of a meter. And the last one is 95 centimeters to meters. So we're going from big to small, so we're multiplying. And there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So 950. Okay. If this one didn't make any sense to you, then um, 
watch watch this one again and if it still doesn't make sense then please make sure that you ask so that you uh, can can do this one properly and that you understand it. Um, your assignment is on page 124 to 125 and yes you will be doing things like this. Your numbers are 1 to 5, 7, 8, 12 to 14. Seems like it's long but they're pretty, most of them are pretty quick. 